Paul Early's scramble caused a moment of panic for the Derby rearguard until Wallington somehow blocked the ball. The senior pro in the United side was Peter Wythe back in the Midlands again. The old head in the Derby lineup, Mark Wallington. The longevity of players like Billy Bonds and Pat Jennings may mean seasons yet for the popular Wallington and Wythe. It was from Gregory's free kick on the right of the box that Derby nearly snatched the lead. Rob Hindmarsh's header bobbled on the bar. John Gregory, playing with great authority in midfield, found Micklewhite on the right, but his cross eluded every lunging boot. But then Micklewhite and Davison combined to put Derby in front. Davison's thoughtful final pass placed with precision by Micklewhite. In the second half, Derby took a 2-0 advantage when a corner from the right was eventually knocked down by Harvey and Gregory scored nonchalantly with a crisp left footer, much to his delight and that of the home supporters. Garrett Williams was unlucky not to score with a remarkable effort. This rasping drive hit the post, rebounded, hit Sheffield United keeper Paul Tomlinson on the head and bounced to safety. Peter Wythe had a late chance, but he couldn't get the direction on his header. Victory for Derby meant that Sheffield United haven't won in 40 years at the baseball ground.